As we serve up this special Thanksgiving episode, get ready to feast on some neighborhood drama from funny Karens to feisty neighbors. I don't know about you, but we're thankful for the entertainment they provide, so grab your turkey and settle in because this Thanksgiving, we're serving up a side of gratitude with a dash of chaos. Yeah, the police are coming now. Keep filming, go ahead. To snitch? You call the cops! You call the cops. I got a guy over here trying to start a fight with me while I'm working in my front yard. I've had enough, dude. Send somebody over here. Keep it up. Just keep it up. Keep it up? For what? You're going to call the cops again? You're going to call the cops again? Well, do you see me calling cops? Do you see me calling cops? No, I don't call the cops. Stay right there, baby. I'll be right back. Call the police. Want to lie on me, Dustin? I'll lie too. You, you want to play with me? We can play. Hello? I'd like to finish my conversation with the supervisor because your mail carriers have been caught stealing and you refuse to do anything about it. Every day I get to hear about how she's going to get a new man for my kids and get a new man. I didn't say that. Day. I'm going to eventually move on. Pictures of herself online for money. Not yet. I don't want her here. Not all. yet. I then hello. Now because I bought a house and then <laughs> I put her name on the deed. Even though I pay for the house, I did all the paperwork for it. She didn't do anything to help. I just had our daughter. And I put her name on it. I just had our daughter. Now I'm going to send your ass to jail today, bitch. Whenever your heart is broken, don't ever forget your golden. I will find the light in your soul. I'll be there. I'll be there. So this guy has a huge problem with his neighbor walking in front of his house. Well, to be frank, he has multiple issues with the guy. First, he says he has too many broken down cars parked in his driveway. And second, he doesn't cut his grass. Now, because of these issues, he has been acting like a Karen every time he spots his neighbor. So on this day, the guy had the nerve to walk in front of his house again after he told him not to. So when he started yelling at the guy, he just kept walking back to his house. He gets on his son's bike and chases him down to his house. This guy is a funny Karen. Mind you, he lives about five houses down and he jumps on another neighbor's yard just to say that now he's standing on a private property so he can't record him. So I pretty much just uh, came by because I oh, drove so, by. So now you're taping this, right? So I drove by. Bye, bye, bye. No, you didn't drive I, I drove by. by. No, I, you walked by. I drove. No, you walked by. You go I, looking up in my house. Are you going to allow me to Are speak? Are you going to shut that phone off? No. Are you going to allow me to speak? No, sir. I'm not going to. What okay, you then you're an immature you individual and I don't have to speak to you. You me like you did the Asian guy next door to you? You want me to start talking to you properly yeah. or are you going to be yeah, yelling yeah, at me? You were doing looking up in my garage yesterday. And you're I'm going to explain to you. I'm I got you on film. All right, you're an immature individual if you don't allow me to speak. You're an asshole, right? I didn't tell you about that. I haven't guy. cursed at you and I do know the I'm law. I'm telling you right now what you are. Okay. Looking up in my house I hope you understand. That's the right that's that's it. being disorderly you're conduct, your and actually, you're yeah. uh, yeah. you're the, you're you're. You know what you are? You know what you are? You're. A b you don't cut your grass. You don't take care of your property. You got three cars across the driveway. Most of them don't run. You're a piece of b in our neighborhood. Is what you are. Now you can keep that all on tape, or you can stick it up your ass. I don't care. You know that's against the law. Else. And let me tell you something else. You cannot film me. That's against the law. You cannot film me on private property, and I'm on private property. So you might as well shut that so off. So you're, you're yeah, allowing he's that? Friend. He's a very good friend. He takes care of his property. He has to ask you to cut the grass behind his house, doesn't he? Because you let it get this high with ticks. You understand? You got a car parked in the backyard. You got four out front. But now you're going to hear about it because I'm never going to let it go. You won't make it six more months here, my friend. Guaranteed. See, you f***ed with the wrong guy today. You f***ed with a lot of people here. But today you f***ed with the wrong guy. Now I'm going to tell you, buddy, stay away from my house. You, that's against the law while you're cursing. I hope you yeah. realize well, that. I'll tell you what, you come over there by my house right now and step up in the front lawn and see what happens to you. Are you just threatening me? I told you don't come on my property or I'll beat the f*** out of you. That's Here a threat. You know what? I'm your... You're diminishing the quality of life of others. You can explain yourself properly and maturely. So after he left, the guy felt unhappy with his responses and he kept thinking, 
I should have said this, I should have did that. Eventually acting on emotions, he decided to get in his car and drive up to his neighbor's property returning the favor, only this time he wants to set up a boxing match at their local gym to settle their differences. Unfortunately, the hostile neighbor is all talk and refuses to sign the waiver. In fact, he says that he's too tough to sign a waiver and wants to settle it in the street. You have something important to say? You have something important to say? Yeah, I'm filming you because you're cursing while I'm driving by. I will curse anytime I want. That's have a nice diminishing day. the quality of life of all. Don't worry, I'm recording that. Okay, yeah, all right. I don't care what you record. All right. You're a nuisance to the neighborhood. You got a problem with the guy in the red house? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Bring it on, baby. Bring it on. Whenever you're ready. You want to sign the waiver? Let's go to let's go to a ring. Sign the waiver. Sign the waiver. Let's go to a ring. Let's go to a ring. Let's go to a ring. Come on. Let's go, Mr. Ring. Let's go to a ring. You got a witness, Mr. Ring. Yeah, right. Out here yelling. You want to come? Yeah, right. Yeah. You don't want to go to a ring. That's why. Cause you're a little kid. You're a little kid. You're a little kid. You're a little kid. You know you're a little kid. Okay, that's why you don't want to sign the ring, right? You don't want to sign the waiver, right? You don't want to be at a ring, right? Do it right in. Go ahead, do it. No, you want do it. Yeah, go ahead, do it. Do it. Go ahead. Have a nice day. Like I say, you're not signing no waiver. That's why you're a little kid, man. Don't worry, I'll bring a little ball for you. Yeah, you come by here. I'll bring a little ball for you so you can play with it. Yeah, right. Yeah, for what? What did I do? What did I do, right? Oh, we're working on it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, go ahead. I trust me. I know. I know plenty. I know plenty of people too. What are you talking about? Oh, so you're stalking me now? So you're stalking me now? You can't get that. It's right in the computer, you moron. Oh well, <laughs> you're stalking me now. Yeah, you are. You're stalking me. You're stalking. No, we all know what you're stalking. That That's what you're doing. You're stalking. Hey, hey, hey. Like I said, like I said, let's go to the ring. Let's go to the ring, man. Let's go to the ring. You're just all talk, man. You're all talk. I had enough for you, too. Don't forget it. We got a ring. We got a ring and there's a waiver. Go ahead. Go get them. Go get them. Go get him. Go ahead. Go get him. Do something. You have no idea what you're Do something. Go ahead. Do something. Get out of here. Go ahead. Do something. You come over here antagonizing me? Huh? You come over here me? You cursed. You're the one that cursed. I you. See? You cursed. You're the one. You better get the f*** out of here. You better get the f*** out of here. Where's the waiver? Waiver this. You know I hurt you, man. It's just non-stop between these two. I really think they enjoy seeing each other on a daily basis. It seems like they wake up early morning excited to step outside the house hoping to see one another. Put the camera down. Put the camera down. Huh? Are you crazy, dude? Huh? Are you crazy? You're crazy. Something wrong with you, buddy. Wrong with you. You know, I'm gonna tell you something. Driving and filming is against the law. I've got the police on the way here. I'm tired of being threatened by you, you prick. Anytime you're ready, get out of the van. I'm not scared of you, you bitch. Yeah, the police are coming now. Keep filming, go ahead. Keep filming me. Why are you filming me? What are you doing? Huh? Why would you come here and instigate trouble? Yeah, don't say nothing. You're here to start some sh**. And that's the only reason you're here. And you're looking in the right place. Yeah, you're looking in the right place. On this last encounter, he was playing music and walking his dog. Again, the nerve of this guy. As soon as he got in front of his house, he started shouting at him, calling him the movie man for always recording him. The guy recording responded with, what's the matter, does your boo-boo hurt? And that's when the other guy said, I can't wait to get you evicted. 
me and the neighborhood will be throwing a party and pulled his phone out and called 911. Hello. I need the police at 12. Her own, sir. I got a guy over here trying to start a fight with me while I'm working in my front yard. I need him now. I need you now. Yeah, he's here with his dog and his camera and his attitude. I've had enough, dude. Send somebody over here. 20. You two never own. Have a good day. Now I'm gonna send your ass to jail today, bitch. Ready? You're a big man, but all you got is a camera. You got nothing else. Oh yeah, you're a kitty cat, right? Be careful who you're with. Really? Yeah. If I'll be honest, if you're seen flipping him off and then he says something, we're probably not gonna do anything. Um, if for no reason all of a sudden he just starts flipping you off and screaming at you for no reason whatsoever, then we'll look into doing something about it. All right? But if it's if it if we can see that you were flipping him off first, we're not, no. not going to do anything about him. Okay? I know. I don't play like that. I know, we're just, Come on. I'm just, from the city. So we have a 32-year-old mother with three kids who leaves the house for days to go clubbing and has sleepovers all over the city. She's not too happy with being a married woman and a mother, even though her husband makes plenty of money, according to her. The problem that she has with her husband is that he works too much and that he leaves her with his kids. Now here's the thing, it's her kids also, but she doesn't call them her kids, she labels them as his kids. So this 32 year old treadmill wants to break off an 11 year old relationship and wants to start an OF, but the only problem is, you might say that she looks like she's her only fan. Anyway, on this day, she called the cops on her husband because he wouldn't let her drive the van he's putting up for sale. He basically took her car because it was supposed to be for her and the kids, but she kept using it to disappear for a few days. When you see the Since I had your kids, dude, it's been a problem. Whatever. No, it's not. God, screw you, house, dude. Over really? I covered it all up because you ignore me, ignore me, ignore me? I can't stand this piece of freaking crap. Trust me. She didn't used to be this way. Yeah. I have an 11-year-old, too. What? I'm done with him. tell me what? Man, can you just... Is there a way you can try to turn on the vehicle or no? Do what? Can you... Do you have a key? Yeah, I do, but I'm going to have to there's go freaking get it. Oh, Alright, well then open it. Can you try this? He, he's got to put the code in. The code? I can find it, but I don't want to I don't want to show you where anything I got. See, she's taking property and stashing the house. No, I'm not. Whatever. I'm not going to drag you into four years of what I've been going through. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. You leave me with them every single day while you get to go to work and run the streets. Time. I, I'm, I I'm leave for days? Myself. Woo! Woo! I gotta run the business and have the kids, so I can't do that. I wow. Place, so, you know, I've, been, I've lost a lot of business because. Liar. Of, you mean, lost business because of your own self for disrespecting your mother it. to your I've kids. I've tried everything I can do. Mm. I've tried. I mean, but you ignore me every single day. Screw you, Dustin. I'm taking your ass down. I'm sorry. Screw you. You got problems, and it's your mommy on the phone that has the biggest problem. You guys are gonna get the help y'all desperately need. If you ask her to explain something, she won't be able to. Oh, exp I've been explaining it. You You're a liar. You're a narc. You're a control freak. You're a control freak. You're a narc. What do I control? Everything. Like what? Really? I can't even drive the van. I can't drive the truck. You control me with our two young young kids. I can't even deal with this. Having the insurance is going to go way up. Oh, that's what it is. So now I'm going to have to move oh, my insurance to here and it's going to skyrocket. That's right. So He's using my mom's address. Anymore. I'm gonna return it. He's using my mom's that's address. But it was a anymore. gift to me from Christmas. No, it's it was a banned. gift to me. But you gifted it to me. Your mother so even freaking mother knows it. Okay, right? I can freaking prove that. You have plenty of assets you can sell and pay it off. And it's mine. Every day I get to hear about how she's going to get a new man for my kids and get a new man. I didn't say that. Day. I'm going to eventually move on. Pictures of herself online for money. Not yet. Not all. yet. I then hello. Now because I bought a house and then <laughs> I put her name on the deed. Even though I pay for the house, I did all the paperwork for it. She didn't do anything to help. I just had our daughter. And I put her name on it. I just had our daughter. I do a lot for her. I pay all. No, you bills. don't. She doesn't, she doesn't do anything. No, she you don't. We need to go to court. I'm not even here that much. I'm at work all the time. <laughs> exactly. I can't deal with this, and I really just need I to take my out. Everything. 
No, you don't. I got state insurance for our kids. I get food stamps. I have my own. Do you put food in here? Have you? House and electric and water. You're really full. I feel it internally. You ignore me. Silent. Silent treatment. And then you oh, leave yeah. me here with your kids. I won't it is. For weeks at a time. It I is. Speak a word out of my mouth. It's I, ignoring. Messages in my phone go on for days without one response from me. It's the silent because treatment. I'm at the point where I don't know what else to do. Okay. I've well, be her. reasonable. I tried arguing with her in the beginning. Uh, I just become silent for weeks at a time. Question, I'm done. Oh, I want her to leave. I'm not leaving. I have to do custody first. But she refuses to leave, so no. Now we need to do custody first. No. Yeah. Even my 11 year old. Even my 11 year old. You've been in her life since four months old. That's fine. I got plenty too. While I'm playing with my kids. Oh, so really? With the kids. The door's closed and she's out there screaming. When you withhold money from me, when you withhold stuff, whatever, dude. Yeah, I can't change and control you either, Dustin. That's why I'm done with you. And but I still have to live. Three or four days still ago, a human. She's to death. Oh, yeah, until you freaking said, Everything calm down. I promise you, the milk got spilled, but I'm already done because you've already triggered me so much. I've been locked up in a whole bunch of other because you're messed up. But I had our kids for two and a, for a day and a half by myself, very young, and a dog. Your kids for a day and a half? Da mm. They're two and they're three and a half. Do not compare your freaking business with it's me being a mom. I'm just getting away from him because I don't even care. I'll be over here by this gate. Want to lie on me, Dustin? I'll lie too. You want to play with me? We can play. Think about your kids before you yeah. start yelling at each other. It's very, when I'm broke, he gets to leave for work. I got to struggle. I don't want to sell myself on OnlyFans, you know what I mean? But, and I haven't yet, yet. I shouldn't even have to think of that, considering I'm a stay-at-home mom, and he makes plenty of money. This man compares himself to Rosa Parks because the bus driver stopped the bus and said he's not moving a bus until he gets out. He's the only one on the bus and he kept basically laying down on the seat with his feet up. The bus driver told him multiple times to put his feet down, but he wouldn't. So now he's Rosa Parks. I'm not moving the bus until you get off. Security is on their way. What's that? I'm not moving the bus until you get in the bus. Why do I need to leave the bus? Because I've asked you multiple times to move your feet from the seat, not to put your feet on the seat. Sir, I, I have a bad foot that's supposed to be elevated. You've already, I was on the bus less than five minutes, and you told me I had to get off of the bus and stand outside of it. And then you told me I couldn't elevate my foot, which has just received medical attention that's supposed to be elevated. And then you told me that the policies of the bus station tell me that I have to get off the bus after being on it for a matter of a few minutes and stand on the sidewalk, which is a clear violation of my rights. Now you're pulled over on the side of the road. You called security because I elevated my foot on the seat. And you're telling me I cannot be on this bus that our taxes pay for, that I have a right to be on. And you're telling me now that I'm gonna have to walk the rest of where I'm going with a bad foot because you had hard feelings about me putting my foot up on a seat. Is that my, is that correct? Sir, we both know that it's not about me putting my foot on the seat. That's not why you did what you did and called security. You called security because I made a mention of my rights being violated and being told to stand off of the bus. So let's be realistic and transparent. You called, you called security because I elevated my foot that is supposed to be after receiving medical attention on my foot. Sir, I will see you in court. What, what's your name? What's your name, sir? Please get off my face. As, as a representative of this city corporation, you're required to identify yourself. My badge is right there. You have it's, to. It's, flip, it's flipped upside down, actually. There you go. Josh Bonnet. No. Have a nice day. Please exit the bus. I will see you in court, sir. More than welcome.
you're goddamn right I'm more than welcome to. What you did to me is no different from what Rosa Parks stood up for when she was made to get to the back of the bus. When you told me I had to get off of the bus and stand after being on it for a matter of a few minutes, after following an appropriate route. You messed up today, sir. You can shake your head, know all you want to, but this video, this video, will, this video will go viral, and this video does have you in it, and it will also be forwarded to my attorneys, and I will see you in court. God bless you. Have a great night. This isn't your bus, sir. This is our bus. Our taxes pay for this bus. Our taxes pay for your job. Our taxes keep our rights free that you just violated. God bless you. Have a great night. This guy is upset with his local post offers for losing his packages. Well, he says they stole it and he truly believes it. This was the third time where a package says that it was delivered, but he never got it. This actually happens to me multiple times a year, especially around this time of the year. For me, they tend to always deliver my packages to the same wrong address. Let me tell you, my neighbor, he truly believes in Santa Claus because he keeps every package that was accidentally delivered to him. But he is just not here. So... <laughs> And can you please stop recording me? Absolutely not. This is a government okay. building. Have a good day. So you're going to lose packages and your, your, your male people are going to take packages and no one's going to do anything about it? Hello? I'd like, to, I'd like to finish my conversation with the supervisor because your mail carriers have been caught stealing and you refuse to do anything about it. So nobody's going to do anything, right? What's that lady's name? Is anybody in here going to help at all? No one? No one. No one's going to help here after you guys are caught stealing? Is that it? Cool. So there's no other supervisor is what you're saying, right? The supervisor that I just spoke to ran away after we got you guys got caught stealing, right? Wow, look at every last one of you. You guys should all be ashamed of yourselves. I'm sorry, what was that? Is there another snide remark you'd like to make? Yeah, that's what I thought. You're more than welcome to call the police because I can totally record you guys after you guys stole my package. And then you guys got caught stealing and then you guys are going to lie about it. So I'd like you, I'd like an answer as to why you guys are lying about it. Good morning. How are you doing today? How are you doing today, sir? What's your name? My name is Robert and this is Robert, probably the L-L-E-R-A. This is about the fourth time I've been down here for a missing package. Okay. So... Are you a supervisor? Yes, sir. She just told me there isn't a single supervisor available in I this said building. There is okay, so what's the issue that you're here for today? So I have a package, and it's about the third time that a package has been marked delivered, and it's right. not. I had the tenant that lives next door to me watch the letter carrier only put one package in my mailbox. Okay. My, ma so my mailbox is a uh, standard, very small one. Yeah. And there's two, two, like, please excuse me, no, packages about that size. Yeah that are marked delivered in the mailbox, and only one was delivered. And only one was delivered? Absolutely. Do you and have I, a tracking number? I have the entire tracking history. She, oh, absolutely. Re I'm she refused to take it. For me to help you with? She wouldn't take it from me. I'm not worried about what anyone else did. I'm trying to help you right now. And so I appreciate that did, because... I'm letting that go. I'm trying to help you and what's going on right now. And I appreciate okay. that. Yeah. So, but I want you to know, in about five minutes, she told about five lies because she says she's the only okay, person I, here. Again, All right? I just so, want to know what the tracking number is. So I can try to let me get it for you. Issue. I'm going to stop go. recording. Perfect. But if you're going to help me, then please help me. And, and no, no more misleading, okay? Right on. Right on. I'm here to work. I'm not here to worry about what other people are trying to sell. This next building has skyrocketed in rent since these two neighbors have moved in. 
everyone wants to rent there because of the free entertainment live package included that no one else offers. Each night at 8 p.m., everyone turns all their TVs off and wait for the action. Now, since this is a high demand Karen area, there isn't much footage available as the action is exclusive for renters only. However, here's a trailer to the Renton complex that's been a huge hit for the Karen lovers. It all started with one neighbor having a gathering of people yelling while playing loud music and pretty much not caring about her other neighbors complaining until one neighbor who is her nemesis complained. Come over here. Yeah, telling him to come over here to get out of the way. To come over here to get out of the way. That's what I was telling my son. Nothing with you or you. Nothing with you or you. And I'm not white. And I'm not white. Where's Trevia? Right here. I almost got ran over. I know. What did she do? She ran, almost ran me over. And what did I say? And then you said, you told me to get over there. She started mocking you. To snitch? You call the cops. You call the cops. Oh. You guys are mental. You guys really need some mental help. Keep it up. Just keep it up. Keep it up? For what? You're going to call the cops again? You're going to call the cops again? Well, do you see me calling cops? Do you see me calling cops? No, I don't call the cops. Yes, so big. I know. So big. I know. Oh, Lord. You see that? That's why I said. Mikey! Yeah, watch her. Exactly. Get, get away. No, I'm not going to let her run you over. Don't start crying because she's a freaking psycho. I'm done. Oh. Where's your phone? Remember earlier she was saying that she doesn't call the cops, only her neighbor does? But when she said she was going to put the paws on her, all of a sudden, where's the phone? Call the police. Why don't you go inside? Go the inside too. No one's asking, talking to you. No one's talking to you. You don't want none of me either. Why are you acting like that? Oh, why am I acting like that? Why are you coming over here and bothering us? That's what I want to know. Why are you coming here and bothering us? What's to lower the We don't have to lower it. We're not. He know he can cry inside the. Get out of here. Get out of here. And you too. You bitch. What do you want? Come on. What do you want? What do you want? Oh, please, please, honey, please. Just let the. I haven't seen you, child. Abuse this, and you beat your son. What happened? You're running from me, honey. Because I haven't seen you since you beat the. Your She's ghetto. Yeah, just good, just good, just go. Just go. Shut up. I'm glad. Shut I'm up. glad that you're if your husband's drunk or not saying that you're encountering it. I'm glad, but My that you get to see because I have an issue with like, her. The she office doesn't husband. listen, that's so that's why I'm recording. Yeah, she's she's irate. Shut up. Shut up. You got it. I want you to try me. What was she doing to you? Yeah, they're out of control. Let the manager know because I'm going to do it. Thank you. And if you'd like, we can exchange numbers and I'll let you know. Well, do you want me to give it to your wife? Because I have to continue to record this. Okay. What's your husband's problem, Mama? Record on you, no, manager. No, Maybe, you yeah, do. We should have because they need to get out. She called the police on me when I had an argument with my friend. That's why I called the cops. Yeah. Call the cops. Call the cops. Yeah. Yeah. Call the cops. Yeah. Call the cops. Yeah. Call the cops. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys have yeah. to watch yeah. it with her. Come on. <laughs> They're calling you. Well, she's freaking fat and ugly. So you can speak to that manager. I want yeah. to be served and leave. No. And I said you're not going to be served. Now. You have a problem with me? No. Not one. Why? Why did you do I don't that? Have a with Why did you do that? Why did you do that? As soon as we finish your request. Which request? Which request? I you told you I'm disabled. 
I told you I'm disabled. You don't need to shout that, sir. I didn't ask you um, that. I didn't ask you that. Why you don't let you me? The till. Why? Huh? Because I asked if you need the till. You didn't say that you need the till. And I asked you to line up. That was it. I need the till. I'm here. I'm here. Why I'm here? Here's the man. Here's the yeah. man. She's coming up. This gentleman, he don't want to serve me, yeah, and he's down. challenging me. Sir, yeah. let's bring it down a level, yeah. and we can speak like adults. He shall, yeah. 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 He okay. shall, I, I need to go, I can't stand that much. I told okay. him I'm disabled, and okay. he don't want to serve me. He told okay. me I need to go to the queue. Everyone is coming here, and he didn't ask nobody. He asked me, only me. Okay. Only me. Okay. Why did you ask me, only me? I didn't only ask you. I swear to God, I saw you, I'm there. I was in the queue. Okay, I couldn't yeah. stay too much. Okay. I came here. I never used it. I never used it. Yes, I couldn't stay too much. Have you been, has you been served? He didn't let me. He told him no. Okay. It's so my decision, he told me. Sir, do not shout at me. I'm not, I'm not shouting. I'm not shouting at you. I'm trying to resolve the situation for okay. you. Please bring but your voice he down. Making me. He yes, making me. There's no need to shout yeah. anymore. I'll okay. come to resolve the situation. Okay. Yeah? Why Where's he did your... that? Okay, I'll resolve this afterwards. Where's your eyes? He's he moved them there. He moved them there. He, moved them there. he don't want to show me. Okay. I'm going to resolve this afterwards. There you go, sir. We'll get you served and then you can be on your way. Okay? If something happened to me, look, look, no, look my hand. Look my hand. Okay, I understand. I swear to God, okay. if something happened to me, this man, look, no, this man, I you, I will remember you. If something happened to me, yeah, yeah, I am. Of course, yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. Of course. If something happened to you, it's you. Say again. He have something against me. I don't know so why. Stop talking to each other yeah. now. I've got you served, and then you can leave. Okay. I want to leave. I don't want I to know. see his face. I know, but look, I want I've got to leave. You served now, and yeah. then we can. You can go. Why he did that to me? I'm not sure, but we'll, I'll resolve. He the didn't situation. ask. I swear to God. But I swear to God. I can't resolve anything listen, with listen. you coming back and forth with me. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. I was there for 15 minutes. I saw I'm him. He saying. didn't talk to nobody. Yeah. He didn't talk to nobody. I swear to God, I yeah. saw him. He didn't talk to. Okay. When I couldn't say that much. Yeah. I decide to come here. Yeah. Because I never used it. Never. No, no. I this, understand. Uh, it's I'm my just, decision. It's yeah, my decision. Of course, of course. When I came, he came to me straight away. Yeah. You have to go to the queue. I don't yeah. know why you don't ask uh, this mm -hmm. this woman. Mm -hmm. She was a woman here. Why did you, I don't have nothing yeah. against her? Yeah. Why did you ask the woman? He told me I asked her. I swear to God, he didn't ask her. I swear to God. Okay. I was behind them. So this couple has a caring neighbor that's trying her best to make her neighbor's lives as uncomfortable as possible. It all started when the Karen's dog was running around her neighbor's property attacking their smaller dog. That's when they called animal control which started everything. In retaliation, she started reporting to the city that her neighbor's grass was a couple of inches too long and now she called them again for hanging clothes to dry on their own property. Now here's the thing. The city worker is friends with the Karen and he's overdoing his job. Howdy. Hi. What's up? My name's Jeff, City of Arnold Building Department. Okay. I received a phone call about your old uh, little wall over here. That's just uh, some clothes drying out. It was up there yesterday. Okay. It's an illegal, uh, uh, illegal construction of a wall. It's not a wall. It it's, just, taken down. it's just clothes drying. Uh, what's the ordinance you're talking about here? Well, actually, wait, wait, mm -hmm. hold up. So this is a private road. You need an emergency to come down here. What do you? What, no, what's the emergency? It's, it's, a, it's a road that is open to the public. It's, it's a private road. A privately maintained road. Okay. Open to the public. It's a private road. Here, Barco, come here. So what's the emergency that brings you down here today? Well, I received a phone call regarding that uh, wall right there. Okay, that's not a wall, that's just clothes drying. Come here, buddy. Come here. Is, is this the guy that keeps uh, coming down the street? So, so you received a phone call about some clothes drying over there. This is Jeff. What? Okay, so he received a phone call about the clothes that are drying over there. Well, I mean. No yeah. So what is the emergency that brings you down here? Are you the same guy that keeps coming down the street? 
about grass that's eight feet, eight inches too tall? Yes, sir. When there's grass over there, yes, there's sir. grass over there, yes, there's sir. grass over there in their yard that's yes, over sir. eight inches, but you keep harassing her over her grass, a little strip right down sir. there. Yeah. Sir, I, this property's already rolled up. Matter of fact, I, I will be doing a follow-up as soon as I get those. Great. There's you. grass over there. So I'll there's be grass, grass in their yard. There's grass. Okay. There's grass you know surrounding what? us. We're, we're not talking about those properties right okay. now. We're talking about yours. Okay. okay. But why are we talking about mine when it's all around us? They have junk cars mm -hmm. in their garageway. Junk cars. You're not writing them up for that. Okay, You're sir. writing her up for a little bit. No, no, no. We're, we're Don't bring an attitude you. to me. Don't bring an attitude to me. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. This property. Go ahead. Here. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. I'm here for the illegal construction of a wall. That's not a wall. It's Which, a clothesline. I it's called not a wall. the city and they said that it was fine. Yeah. We already who talked to the who city. Who speak with? I spoke to a lady with the city. Okay. Clotheslines are fine. Except I know it's been up there for at least a couple days. It's still a clothesline. Even it's if it's a few days. Line. What? Are you buddies with them or something? What is this about? because you keep coming down here harassing her. And I'm gonna be posting this, I'm gonna be letting everybody know in the city, I am going to let everybody know in the city that you keep harassing her and we're not gonna take yes, sir, it. I'm not harassing. Yes, you are, you keep coming after her. A little strip of grass in between our house and their house to separate mm -hmm. us from their aggressive dog that charges into our yard. But you keep doing them when a favor. When the dog you keep is, doing when them when a the favor. Dog, when the dog is out running loose, call. We do. When, we have called hours, animal control. When, so, after hours, so, call the police. so nothing when happened. Here, call nothing, nothing happened. So we, there was a little tiny strip of grass between our house and their house. But you just jumped at the chance to come down here and do them a favor, okay? Sir, so, I, so not... anyway, anyway, we're beyond that. We cut the grass down, and now we just have clothes that are hanging and drying. It's not a wall, okay? No, it's a construction of a wall. It's not. How long, how long has it been up there? It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. No, it because doesn't. If it's, a, if it's no. clothes drying, you wouldn't be having it's up. It's just some clothes drying. It's just some clothes drying. It's only been up there since Monday. Yeah, it's just some clothes drying. So we're not going to take down a clothesline every time we want to bring down clothes to dry. Do you know it's been raining too? Sir, it, you can have the clothesline up. I'm not, I'm not That's just a keeping the clothesline itself. Then we're fine. You can go. You don't have to keep doing them a favor, Jeff. I, sir, I, I got an act of complaint regarding this property. Good, okay? good. Jeff, Jeff, because I am going to make sure people know about you. Me. This guy walked into a library with a service dog and he was immediately told he couldn't bring his dog in. He told the librarian he was allowed to have his service dog and walked in anyway. She called the cops on him. When they arrived, they immediately backed up the librarian and told him he needed to leave. He refused and pulled his phone out to record the rest. I'm in a library. This gentleman here, I have my psychiatric service dog. I've already told him what she does. She pulls me out of a conditioned bunk, and he's sitting there harassing me. You asked me if it's a service animal. Yes, I told you what she helps me with. That's what you're allowed to ask. You asked. Why are you still hanging around me? Are you trying to harass me now? Sir, do you have an issue? Why are you standing there staring at me? What's your problem? We just got training on the service animal health. Okay, so no, I, this has nothing that I to share. do with you. No, oh, this has nothing there, to do with you. Yes, but the it Americans not, with Disabilities right, Act. So. No, it has nothing but to do with you. Can you please go back and do it? Go ahead. Except that I just Can witnessed you, you violate the service animal. All, You're not, not allowed to I'm ask. Not. You're not. First of all, you don't know what happened. I was and what six happened? feet away. And nothing happened. And you're asking I did not ask me. You're harassing me right now is what you're doing. You didn't ask them for paperwork? You, you came over here and you asked me about my dog. I she did not ask me about the paperwork, but he said, they've already came and asked me. I told them what it is, and they're sitting here asking. They've already asked what they can ask, and they're still harassing me. This is a violation of my civil rights. You are right, and thank you for helping me. It's people like you that keep this America safe. I'm sitting right here. Have a good day.
I'm going to file a lawsuit if he keeps sitting there harassing me. Yeah, it says he can't do what he's doing. He's done what he can do, and he's still sitting there harassing me. And thank you for standing up for my rights, ma'am. You did what's right. Are we done? Can I go back to what I was doing? This guy says he found bugs in his drinks, so he goes around the restaurant and warns everyone to check their drinks, but they all ignore him and continue eating their hay. He ordered using Uber delivery. I'm just confused to why he would say he's disgusted, but takes another order for free. Okay, so I ordered... Uh food from Bojangles this morning in Havelock and as you can see there's like look like gnats and stuff in my drink this is my Mountain Dew I took a sip out of this and got something nasty in my throat and I decided to check it and it looks like there's all sorts of bugs and stuff in it it's disgusting this is Bojangles in Havelock I already called the uh, health department this is what I got from DoorDash. Now I'm gonna go in here and see if they're gonna do anything about it. And maybe warn some people in here. Y'all might wanna double check about ordering from here. You might wanna double check before you order anything from here. Now it's bugs in here. Oh, From here. Yeah, but you need to take it over there and show it to them. Yeah, I am. I'm just letting you know. Hey y'all, you might wanna check your drinks. Got bugs and gnats in this thing. Check your drinks. Check your drinks. There's gnats. Excuse me. This is what I ordered from you this morning. There's gnats and bugs. Gnats and everything inside of that. Look, I checked the Mountain Dew, I checked all my onions, everything. I have none of this in my store. I get it, I get it, I see it. Well, I, I just go and pick up a bunch of little gnats and stick them in there. Well, I definitely didn't blame it on you either, so I'm just saying I checked all my stuff and I have no dirt in none of my stuff, so. All right. I, maybe, maybe it was in the cup already. I have no idea what happened here, but I checked everything. As soon as I got off the phone for me, I obviously checked it because right. I didn't want anybody coming in here and, and seeing that there was dirt. Definitely. Uh, what was your meal, man? It was a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. Can I get a bacon, egg, and cheese? Yeah, I, I went right behind after you called me. I, I checked everything, sir. Right. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I checked. Yeah, that's what I checked. Yeah, that's what I checked. Yeah, that's I, I don't want to know that. I looked at all the ice. No, and like like she said, maybe it was in the bottom of a cup, maybe. Yeah. But, yeah I checked everything. <laughs> I do apologize about that. Thank you. If anybody knows if I should call a lawyer or something, I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's disgusting. I drank that. Thank you. I want to take this time to share something with you. If you know how to use credit cards, this message is for you. If you don't know how to use them, please skip this part. Okay, so for those that are familiar with the rewards of using a credit card, you most likely know about the built MasterCard, but if you don't, you're missing out big time. It's the only credit card that lets you pay rent and instead of charging you a fee, they give you points which you can redeem for free vacations or stack them up to eventually use them to help make a down payment on a house. Now I know by me telling you that you can click the link below which will take you to the website and I'll, be, and I'll be honest, if you click below, it's not gonna cost you anything, but it's gonna give me some points for a referral. However, you can just go look it up on Google and just find it yourself and just forget 
for me getting the points is just do it that way. The most important thing is if you're paying rent, you need this credit card. I'm about to fly business class to Morocco and stay at a couple of fancy hotels and resorts all for free just because I use a credit card. Again, so if you're paying rent and you don't have this credit card, I I'm going to lose my mind. Like seriously. Oh my God. <laughs> So, being being as where as though you are patrolling this, where is the drop off spot for people to That's do deliveries? Where is where is where is, where, 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 where is the area? Answer. Where That's is the area to drop off? So if it says don't park right here, That's not my job it doesn't. To patrol the area. My, my job is to come in here to check the vehicles like I did. And to see if they're supposed to be here or not. That's all my job is. And if not, so I'm to th this says handicap. It doesn't say reserved. It says handicap. It doesn't matter. Even if you're and handicap, you still have to pay for parking. Am I tripping? I don't think I'm tripping. It doesn't say pay for parking in front anywhere, of this. Anywhere, 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 it doesn't say it. It doesn't say it right here. It signs everywhere. It doesn't say it right here. You still have to pay it, for it has a handicap sign right oh, here. You still have to pay for parking. And it doesn't even say it on the ground. You still have to pay it, has a, it has a number. It doesn't have a sign. It doesn't have a sign, so you're enforcing something that's not even. It's, it's not labeled. It says it right here. It says it. It says it on each one of these parking spots. It doesn't matter. I, I'm about to call it twelve for real because it's it's not it's false advertising. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does matter. Papa, you tell me what to do when it I doesn't have a sign right here. And you don't have a labeled drop-off sign. Where's the drop-off? When do you come? Majority of these places don't have a drop-off sign. Specific for so look, right, this entrance is so small, you have to have one car come through here. So, boom, you can't park right here. That's not my job to tell you where to park, bro. You're wrong. That's not my job. And it, it don't matter for you. You're going to take it off. Hey, how's it going? I have, I have a spinal injection in the morning. I don't have the money for this. It doesn't have a pay right here. Pay the part. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not understanding what you're, what you're trying to tell me. It doesn't have a pay to part. Okay. Right here. Uh -huh. But every other spot, it has a green pay to part. Uh -huh. And I was only dropping off a work order. Okay. So and I need the. Need? I wanted her to take the boot off. I mean, you have to pay because I'm looking at all the green um, spots. It does say pay. It doesn't say it right here. It doesn't matter. It's for the whole parking. It's for the whole parking garage. So. All right. I, I'll just. And then you park in a handicap zone space. I am handicapped. You have a stud. It's on my tail. But I'm, what I'm saying is, look at all these other spots. It doesn't have paid apart. I'm a delivery driver. I understand that. However, this is not the street. This is private property. So the, these are their rules. We have to adhere to their rules, okay? All right. Um, how much extra would it be if I stayed until the morning to speak to the property manager? So that's one day of 75? I'll stay, I'll stay until the morning. I am. I, I'm a single dad. I don't have the money for that. I don't have the money for this. So I'll stay until the morning. I appreciate y'all. Right. So this customer made a purchase at this department store and she brought her own bags to carry her items out. As she was leaving the store, she was approached by a security guard asking to see her receipt because he claims that someone called him and reported that they saw her stealing. She of course is not too happy about being accused of stealing. So when she showed her receipt, she demanded the police. No, get the police. You want to ask me about stealing? Get the police. Don't, don't come and chase me out in no the store. I'm, I'm, yeah, get the police and the store manager. And they got the nerve to be black. Oh, you don't want me following you? Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm sorry, I'm apologizing. I'm sorry. Well, who did you ask that I, that I have? 
Oh, did I buy this? No, the lady downstairs called me. What lady? I, I don't know exactly who it was. You know who it was. I need her to come up no, here. I, did, I don't know who it was. I need you to find no, out. You a manager right yeah, here. please do. Don't walk away. Please don't, manager. I need a manager. And you can call the police, too. And the lady downstairs who rang me out. That's who you need to get up here. I, I pay too much money in belt for me to be stealing out of belts. I have no idea what you're talking about. He just followed me out the store asking me, was this their bag? After I purchased everything with a receipt. So someone called him. I don't, uh, oh, I don't know. I don't care, but you're chasing me out of a store asking me did I buy something. I didn't chase you. Yes, you store. did. No, I didn't. I just walked right there. I didn't chase you. And you anybody. walked out the store asking me was this my bag and you were trying to take the bag from me. Yeah, I actually. How about this was zero merchandise? Yeah, I actually cannot see the receipt. But you said someone called you like I was stealing. So I need the lady who rang me Sorry, up. Are you all on the call? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because the lady, see? I'm apologize to you, but she did pay for it, but she was going out the door with a song for it, so she had a bunch of money. So she's good? So she's good, yes. Yeah, I'm sorry, fine. man. That's not that's, No, I need I'm to find out who called you to say that I was stealing. I don't know. I just got a you, phone call. I don't know exactly who called me. I'm sorry. Oh, you're good. I don't appreciate that. I don't know who called me, man. I'm sorry. I, I pay too much money in Belk to be stealing. I got a Belk card with a $10,000 balance on it. I don't need to be stealing out of here. That's a shame. Can I get a regular bag so y'all don't think I'm stealing no, out of your damn store? No, I want a, I want a belt bag so won't nobody think I'm stealing out your store. If that's what she should have gave me in the first place, and that's what she should have gave me. You know who called you. You know they voice. Don't play like I'm like I'm some damn thief in here. As a matter of fact, let me just return all y'all since you think I'm a thief. I just ready to return it. I ain't got time to be sitting up here buying nothing out y'all store and y'all think I'm gonna steal out of it. This uh, lady is always watching her neighbors who live two doors down, not next door, but two houses down. The neighbor says all he did was drop his brother off from work and she came at the house accusing him of all sorts of things from standing outside her window to claiming to have captured them doing an exchange. Why are you always outside my window? And I'm getting videos and stuff like that. And I ain't blaring the thing for no reason. I have a video with the exchange and your face. Red shorts, white shirt. I already put in. I already. I have the exchange. It was 12 o'clock at night. You've got red shorts, white shirt. I saw the exchange, your face, and the face. You can zoom in with a camera. You know that, right? You can. Just no more. Go somewhere else on the other side of the thing or something. I'm just saying. At 12 o'clock at night, when you walk out behind my thing, then you walk in and you walk out. I saw the exchange, dude. Just leave everything alone. Mm -hmm. And everybody knows. Yeah, they will. Just do somewhere else. Get on the other side or something. I don't want to be associated with anything on this. You was dropping you off. I saw you walk behind here on video. I saw the exchange. You come and for two seconds and get out. And the one walk back, and I zoomed in while you guys passed it between you with the red shorts and white shirt. And zoom. <sighs> just do it on the other side. You weren't getting dropped off. Just do it on the other side of something. I just don't want anything outside my house. I don't want you either. Just stop. Just do it on the other side. 
I don't care. Neither do I. Neither do I. The only other side of the property. Sometimes when you're here. It's crazy to have to deal with that. It's very early, bro. You're barely opening up. And you're already in a bad mood. You're already acting all dry. Like, bro, you got to greet people. Welcome in. Thank you. Hey, nothing. Just dry. Just crickets. But, but the attitude is just in the air. So thick that you could just slice it with a butter knife. Like, like they want funk. Like, hey, bro, you're at the wrong job if you're going to be acting like this. Get your ass in the warehouse where they can stick you in the back and don't nobody got to see you. Yeah, and you're fun. getting in my face. You're becoming physically yeah, aggressive I, to me. This to isn't see. the first time. You're you're I messed up, you dude. And you're you're me. probably inebriated. I need you know what? I think you're inebriated. I think you need to get away from me.